number 14, Kentucky, and number nine, North Carolina. But this is number two on the road, the first true road game for Kansas this year. And that one is knocked all the way out of bounds. That's going to be an Indiana ball. And that's just enough, that one play, to get it all wound up for Mike Woodson and company. This will be an interesting matchup now. You see Harris is picking up cups in the backcourt. He's going to try to keep some pressure on him. Harris, a terrific defensive player also. Big 12 defensive player of the year last year. So he's taken him out of his stride just a little bit for that first pass. Ware feeds the post. Renew back to Ware. And he gets it to drop. The open we spoke about, the high-low opportunities. That was a low-high opportunity in reverse. Allowing the ball to go to the post. They try to double it. Nice slip cut there by Ware. Good shooting touch from Dickinson. Missed his first shot. Yeah, he gets that shot off in a hurry, too. Skip pass. Indiana hit their first three threes. In Atlanta, against Auburn. Follow there, that's Renew. Good work on the glass, understanding where the... Kansas leads the nation in field goal shooting 53%. And they're terrific from three, 38%. Nice Dickinson from Adams. Boy, Dickinson really understands what's going on with the mindset in terms of being confident in shooting the ball. Because Mike Woodson wants them to shoot the ball if they're open from the outside. Adams lob, broken up. Well, that's a tough delivery with a guy like Ware back there who's seven feet tall. Get away! Coast to coast! Harris has been scoring lately. Last three games, averaging 13 a game. That's the way they're collapsing the floor. When it's put on the floor, you see the white jerseys kind of squeezing from the weak side. Adams kicks. Jackson driving. Back to Adams. Left hand. Nicely done. That's because they're getting that ball and moving it towards the paint area. One of the things when both of these teams are not shooting the ball well and often from the three-point line, you're going to see plenty of plays in the post and paint area this afternoon. This is Mbako. Look at Renew. He's wide open. you got to give it to him. Galloway gets to the line. Hesitated on that 15-footer. into these two free throws were in the paint and he makes one of two from the line. Yeah, with Galloway last year, he shot 45% from three, but his numbers right now, three for 22 on the season coming in. So they know he can shoot the ball better. Harris stumped down. Adams muscles it in. Not only does he have the muscle rich, but he has the footwork to get himself in a great spot to catch that ball because there was a little bit of traffic in there also, so he had to readjust. Bill Self called him a great short roller. That's a good example there. Galloway kicks. First three. Renew! And he's closing out on that baseline. It's a difficult jump hook type shot there, especially if you're drifting at the baseline. You don't get any advantage of the backboard. Indiana's hit four of their last four shots. That's Mbako, and he misses the three. Dickinson triggers. Harris kicks. McCuller a clean three. Got it. One way to get it down the floor in a hurry. Kansas taking that long shot from Indiana's perspective, but it shows you a little bit about Mbako, who's got the confidence to take that quick trigger. Tough that delivery. Yeah. Long way out. Long and Adams, way out. Adams had sniffed it out. Jackson. Watch Adams again. Well, nice wraparound pass from Jackson to Adams. They just have a, a great understanding, not only on the open floor, but when the ball starts to squeeze to the paint area, they both, Adams and Dickinson, really watch the play. Mbako, the freshman. He's going to challenge them all afternoon. See, Adams won't take that shot outside. Adams will catch it in the post and push the, the little push shot. Dickinson, low blocks. He's played really well here in this building. Cuts with a steal. Here comes a delay cut down the middle. Mbako strips and fouls. We'll get free throws. Mbako. 
Rick got waited to throw this stat out. I know. You know what you're going to say. Know. I wasn't going to say it before he shot. <laughs> Renew. Yes, Ware on the blocks. Notice the way they're playing this now. They have Adams on Ware. Buckle. Bumps. Oh! Uh -huh. And it counts. You know, when you play with confidence, and he's in the line. Ooh, that gets in Dickinson with a steal. Look at the balance, though, for Indiana. Getting back very quickly, not allowing the layup. Harris takes the three, hits the three. And he's good at that. He doesn't take a lot yeah. of them, but when he shoots them, he's over 45%. And there he played cups pretty well in terms of getting hung up on the screen. He knows he has to take that shot. Galloway almost lost it. Banks kicks, renewed. He's got eight. Yeah, he came in shooting at a one for seven, too from the three-point line. Uh, so for Manu is two for two from the three-point strike. And watch him squeeze the floor. Watch the middle of the floor fill up with white jerseys. Adams, there it is. Dump down, Dickinson sweeping hook. Another good defensive effort by Indiana. They know where the strengths are with Kansas. Can't watch the fall away. Where? Too strong. Yep. He loves that fall away. Furphy! Watch out. Missed the dunk. Goes down hard. Cups from behind. Taking a rare break against Harris. Look at Galloway again, right? Right in that baseline. Harris on the pick and roll. Oh, up and over cuts. Juan Harris has got five early points. Gets that high screen by Dickinson, and then it's his job going to his right hand. Now, I know he can go to his left, but I'm a big believer in those guards. You've got to find a way to force him to their weaker hand. Anthony Walker in the game. Walker throws one up. K.J. Adams picks up his second personal. Adams to the bench. Walker played on a lot of winning nights for Trump this year. Harris, the two-man game with Dickinson. Timberlake launches. He can hit this shot. Where? No. Oh. Remember, Indiana started out hot against Auburn from three and then struggled. That's unstoppable. Dickinson, great touch pass from McCuller. Yeah, you would initially think that that might be a little far out on the floor, but those two guys have such great symmetry in terms of the setup for one another. C.J. Gunn off the bench for Indiana as well. Galloway around the screen. Walker spinning. That's a foul. It's yep. a reach. McCullough actually had very good position. Has two. So McCullough and Adams with two fouls. Just passed. You know, it's, it, it's not stretched out, so he can avoid, he can avoid putting them back on the floor. Dickinson yep. demanding the ball. Well, he's, he's, he's got to go up with that hook from there. First fee, long. Dickinson. Jackson driving. Timberlake a three. Over the top. Gonna go the other way with Perfy. Pretty well defended again, Rich. We can get into the lane right now with the lineup that they have, and if he has to kick it out for a three, so be it. In Indiana not helping themselves from the line right now. Missing a front end of a one and one. They're six of ten for the stripe. Still a five-point game. Timberlake, great feed. Brown with the finish. Parker Brown on the catch. It's Christian's brother. His first two of the game. A little roll to 
on the offensive side to keep the big very guy wear on his back the whole time. Gun rises. And Indiana is ice cold from the field. They've gone four down, so he's got his three regulars back with Harris, McCuller, and El Marco Jackson. Short time. Scored in double figures and all night. He's got to realize he has two. Jackson, 18-footer. Uh-uh. <laughs> they want that ball two over the top. They are really thin at point guard as Indiana. Xavier Johnson out again. And a nice spinning move. Oh, great finish. Where? Wish you could say where did he come from, but he was angling that entire play. But Cuffs has to be really careful. Galloway. Driving, falling. Oh, that. Is that over the rim? Is a goal 10. It's called a goal 10. Get up there. That's why, that's why it was really like a push and a, an emergency shot just to get it up. He lost his balance going to the basket. Adams back in. McCuller. I think they're missing some opportunities on the Indiana switches where Cups could have been picked up down there again. Marco! As well as they could because some of them are better shooters than their percentages are showing. And they look, as a bunch right now, they look very confident. Adams looking for Dickinson. Looking Sealed for on the baseline. Shot blocked. Shot blocked. But a foul. And I think it might be in bottom. This is one of his favorite places to play. He loves this place. And he's, as we pointed out, he's averaging 24 and 10 in this place. He loves the atmosphere, loves the, the juice. Cups has to be very careful at the defensive end. He has two, can't go to the basket and walk and drive. Bacco, that was his first foul. That's a reach. Yep. And I tell you, McCullough was close to reaching in also just then. Whether Mike Woodson goes to the bench with Cups for a substitution. He's got two fouls, probably. Like, like yeah. he did against Missouri. And Cups is about what they have right now at point guard. Yeah, I realize that, but. You know, I don't know how far you take a chance. Once again, I, I'm thinking Harris has to be aggressive on him. Off the ball, that's a foul. Timberlake, they can go in and review it. And they will do that on a timeout rather right. than stop the game. Little zone look right here, the first time for Mike Woodson. Jamari McDowell, nice give, and Dickinson finishes with the left hand. McDowell, the freshman from Houston. And Kansas trying to make a run in these last three and a half minutes of the first half. Their goal would be to get this to about six if they can. Nice body work there by Calloway. He is strong, 65, 205. And he leads with the body on that one. Good. Guys who get to the free throw line a lot have learned that skill. And he found a nice way to get to the basket. They go back to their man-to-man -man effort. McCullers bumped. Oh, and he scores. Count it. Yep. Wow. Yep. McCullers. Quick roll by Dickinson. Backing in. Shouldering in. And scoring with the left hand. Is he ever patient with the basketball? Just understanding when the right time to go. He just waited for where to commit and then be off balance. And he's so deadly with that left hand to hook. Uh, Another drive. Back Galloway. Yeah, a little backdoor cut from the right wing. Kansas with a couple of their players in foul trouble. Have to lay back and not be as aggressive as they could be without those fouls. McCullough is fouled. They don't have that problem at home. Galloway goes. Floater. Oh. Got it! Pretty. Timing was absolutely perfect. Big guy gets picked up. 
Quite a big defensively, and Galloway read that as well as you possibly can. Chuck Lux off. Harris against Galloway. Stumbles. Kicks. Contested three. Off the mark. Adams goes. Blocks! Foul before the block, though. Ware got the block. Player, you're caught with that shot. Galloway tries to shoot down. Not going to get it off. Well, Indiana, a fast start, and they've held the lead. Halftime has arrived. And Boring has nine rebounds in this game. And here we go. He's showing you some good balance for Indiana. First three or four minutes of this half will set a tempo from a confidence standpoint for Indiana. A lot of key players on the floor with two personal fouls. Adams, one of them right there playing defense. This is where finds Renew over Dickinson. Got it up. Where the rebound, and he's fouled. And if it's McCuller, it's an Oregon transfer. And then inside and outside. How about this early storyline, too, with McCuller with three fouls right now? I don't think Bill Self flinched, flinched over there to make a decision to get him off the floor. And they might be thinking about it. Jackson, McCuller cuts. Got to the rim and got a foul and drew contact. For you have this afternoon. <laughs> Everybody's picking up fouls here. The free throw shooting contest. Both of these teams are just about 11 turnovers for Indiana. A little better pace right now for Kansas. Moving without the basketball. Jackson step back. Three and he hits it. A got by Dickinson, scoops it and missed it. Dickinson cleans it up. That's the one he has to put in. Harris, McCullough flying. And a foul. <laughs> McCullough is very aggressive, isn't he? Baco moving without defensively and pushes him right through. Time with the foul problems that we see mounting up early here. In and out. Boy, that was a terrific look, too. Adams, the miss. Yeah, Harris with the delivery. Indiana has not hit a shot this half. They're all five. And Baco calls for a screen. Takes the three. Catch it! I was just going to say, you got to really bust over that screen or you got to go underneath it and get out there quick with a little hedge. Of note, Indiana's four of eight from three. That's a trouble spot. That's a turnover. That's Galloway. That's a three. And rebounds to go with seven points. Just keeping Dickinson where he wants him initially on the defensive set. And then also on the defensive boards. Galloway waiting for a screen. Gets by McCuller and scores again. There's that understanding with Galloway. He's playing against the guy with three fouls. McCuller lets him go to his strong side. Lays back a bit. If he's going to lay back, you better force him left. Adams driving. Oh, Two hands. <laughs> KJ Adams emphatically. Ends an 8-0 run by... Right, I mean, if they're forced and you're contested, that's a bad three. Jackson going hard, right to the bucket, and the freshman scores. That's a quality timeout play drawn up by Bill Self. Once again, you see so many guys playing the... not playing the strong hand on a driver and allowing them to go to the power side. But there was a beauty removed by Jackson off that timeout. Galloway, floater! That ties his career high at 20. He just continues to impress. It's like one of these afternoons where you feel it's your day to continue to shine. Harris finds Adams, who's fouled in Kansas, a shot at a three-point play. Well, with two fouls and missed much time on the clock, 13 and a half, Really, you don't think about that second foul. Now, if you pick up a third one then in the next minute or so, then you have to think a little differently. But here, you just play full out as if the fouls aren't a factor. Gabe Cups, two freshmen. At the point guard spot for Indiana. Xavier Johnson is still out. And they miss him. Mbako, where? 
And he's fouled, and that's Adams moving in. Where hits a free. 80% on the season. Furphy is in. Good health side defense. And McCullough gets a block. Quick pass. And Adams gets a layup and scores. Transition, blink of an eye. Kansas draws a little closer. And Bill Self says he can run the floor as well as anybody. He showed it just then. McCullough with a beautiful delivery, and the timing was perfect. Galloway. Oh! Gorgeous. <laughs> Off the glass. 22. That's when you know things are going well. A little bit of a squeeze defensively on him. And now he's raising his hand to get the fans involved. And now that is a career high. Good pressure out front by Ware for two seven-footers playing way out on the floor. Harris back to Dickinson. In the lane, falling away. That's a big bucket from a big man, Hunter Dickinson. Not badly defended either by Ware just then. He stood his ground. Once again, Adams is playing Ware down below. And we got this matchup out front. Mike, yeah, Mike Woodson is, is flip-flopping it out. If you're going to put Dickinson on the, the smaller of the two, then he's going to pop out. Free some room in the middle of the floor. Galloway missed it. Furphy has the ball. Kansas. Nice find. McCullough barrels through the lane and draws contact off the pass. From and there's a lot of time left. And there's some substitution building. I'm starting to get that little shift that Kansas is starting to think of. Cups. Off the screen, it's Banks. Could use a score right now if you're Indiana. Renew against Dickinson. Spinning. Left hand. Uh -uh. Follows it there. I think most of the fans along the sideline here thought that they saw Dickinson with a foul just then. It might have gotten him on the, the wrist, but the follow-up was tremendous. Back to, eight, back to an eight-point game. Needed that one to keep the fans alive in here. McDowell hits a three. Jamari McDowell, his first points of the ball game. The freshman out of Houston. And the lead is down to five. McCullough continues to play point forward out there, too. Around the corner again. Galloway couldn't get it through the pocket. Harris with the steal. Harris with the floater. Dickinson, yes! They got away with that because Harris gave it to... Mackenzie Mbako still on the bench for Indiana with four fouls. Hedge there by Dickinson, gets back in position. Renew wow. right at Dickinson. The key to that play was Dickinson had to go a long way to recover. It's interesting because I'm wondering right off the bat whether they thought it was McCullough or not, but I'm sure. Minutes off the bench for Kansas. Oh, wide open. Harris three, got it! And a whistle. Below the bucket, the shot's gonna count, I believe. The officials lock up 14 points in this game. Caleb Banks feeds the post. Where is double? Gets out of it. Cuts. Driving. Cuts. A runner and he hits it. Oh, he had to make a great adjustment. It's mistaken. Shot clock down. Yep, bump out front by Banks. Around the bend, Caleb Banks with the foul. Yeah, tough one against Indiana, too, with 4.8 on the shot clock. Couple of triple doubles this season, also. Trying to keep Adams on where on the blocks. Where Dickinson is seventh double double, 13 points, 11 rebounds. The color. Nice look. Feeds the post, and Dickinson with a left hand hook. And Kansas has their first lead. Yeah, he just parked himself there, and he got ran right on his back. I don't think this crowd is really getting to Dickinson at all. Galloway's double. Renew left hand hook, and that's a big one. Same type of shot that Dickinson just effectively made down his end. Renew with a beauty for an answer. Trading punches now. Under four and a half minutes left. Harris 
floater. Got it! Dewan Harris. He doesn't shoot often, but when he does, they're usually big ones. Dickinson, yeah, go back there. That's a long three. And Banks is off for the rebound and a Kansas foul. Galloway with good work has carried a lot on his shoulders in this game. A true 64 64. And right now you play carefully with the four fouls, but you really have to just let it out for both guys who are impact players, him and, and McCullough with four fouls also. Dickinson battling for position down low. He and Ware at it. McCuller rises and hits! Great. That's a huge shot, Kevin McCuller. McCuller kicking. At least this Kansas team is not afraid to pass the basketball. Into Dickinson, turning, big shot! And how about 12? How about the way they used the clock just then, too, Rich? They got it down under 10 seconds. No panic whatsoever. Lead is five. And Galloway cuts and scores again. What was a great time to go to the basket on the backdoor cut. You get guys leaning out there. They're up a few points at that point. Five points. Lean. And you get them going backdoor. Good cut by Galloway. Jackson. Crossing over. Mbako's got four fouls. The color. Hunting. Stepping back. Missing the jumper. Mbako and Indiana with the ball in down three. We're under two minutes. And this is where if you can, just remember they don't shoot a lot of threes. Play for the drives. Galloway feeds the post. Renew. Scoop. No! Dickinson altered the shot. Renew lost his balance also. Big stop by Kansas. Watch for the extra pass if they need it. Harris. Probing. Right hand. Got it! Oh, man! Big time shot to Juan Harris. And over the extended reach of where it would have been in goaltending territory if he hit that one. And the 9-3 run has propelled Kansas to a five-point lead. Galloway, three. Yes! Good decision there by Renew, too, the way he handed that ball off to Galloway. Usually get Dickinson a touch, good drive along the baseline. Adams the miss, Indiana has the ball. Down two. Watch behind you for Galloway. Plenty of time. Feeds the post, Renew. Galloway, three. No! Dickinson rebound, Kansas ball. 20 seconds yeah, left. Right. Yep, good play there by and Renew. There's the you foul can. in the backcourt. Best free throw shooters. Wow. And Indiana lost the rebound. They can review this. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. That's why maybe he's a player, not an official. But you know what? That ball was still in play just yes. then. That ball would. The color fouled around the screen. And oh, Galloway. that's Galloway. That's his fourth. And McCullough. Oh. <laughs> and he got it. So now you're down four if you're Indiana with 18 seconds left. I like the push up here by Kansas, too. Make them use more clock. There you go, Mike Woodson with the timeout. 13 seconds left. Indiana with a great opportunity here today. Number two, Kansas in town. They played a whale of a first half. Self might call one, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Let's see if they go for the two or the three. Quick three, Mbako. Uh-uh. Follow is good. They got the two. That was where. 
Can't stop the clock. Nine seconds left. Go to a good free throw shoot. You have to foul him. Caught up to him. Fortunately, caught up to him. Or McCullough with day, and he hits a big one for Kansas. The lead. Well, let's see if he misses it. Just Bill Self when it's active. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Four-point game. So watch them pick up right now. This is geared to take some time off the clock. Cups. Three on the way. Missed it. Kansas down 13 on the road. 17,000 right on top of them. And Bill Self and the number two Jayhawks come roaring back in the second. And they beat Indiana 75-71. 10 and 1 is Kansas, and the Hoosiers fall to 7 and 3. What a game. And a great comeback. Dickinson, terrific.